This is my play seat or my cockpit at the moment. Uh, it's not even done and I want to make some modifications since I find that this section is too high. Uh, the bottom of the seat start here, so I have four inches uh, that it is not being used and it's it's made the, the, the seat higher for no reason. It's higher than a real F1 cockpit, I believe. So I will drop that uh, from four inches. Uh, so obviously it will drop everything from uh, four inches. It's, I will have to redo the, the cut in here. Um, and I will also, I will show you in a minute, but I will also uh, rise my pedal in the seat from about uh, three inches so uh, instead of being here uh, this section will be uh, less thicker and uh, my curve or the, the the lower section of the seat will rise higher like uh, three inches higher so I will say about that uh, amount of space from the side view it will be a better look and it will feel or look more like a real cockpit i will also uh, my pillow or ear so from here i will start a uh, drop in the front uh, about three inches i have the room so uh, in the future i'm planning on, on uh, adding a front wing so I will add the right shape to uh, install a front wing on it. So it will be uh, at the moment this section in 32 uh, inches. Uh, I will drop that at 28, 29, and uh, depending exactly where it is the bottom of my seat, it's about four inch, but it might be uh, three and a half. No, I'm not sure. I will see when I will put it on the side. Uh, I will also, as I said, uh, accentuate that curve and uh, it will be around here at the end of the tape. Uh, so that curve, instead of finishing here, will finish about here. So I will have only this section of flat spot from there about uh, until here. And from my pedal, so uh, from here, I will drop uh, three inches, so it will be something like that. Will be more compressed. Uh, I will show you the inside of the cockpit. I won't have to move the wheelbase, but I will uh, rise the pedal, so uh, my position will be better because at the moment. My legs are too low when I'm driving, so I will raise the pedals and uh, it will uh, raise my legs uh, by doing it. So let me show the inside. As you can see, I got room. I got about one inch and a half here, but uh, those pedals are getting uh, between those pieces. So uh, it's about, uh, one inch and a half plus another inch and a half here it's make three inches um, if it's too tight I will just make a notch here when I put the hood on it it won't show anything but that's the goal is to rise my pedals uh, the wheelbase is not in a way even when I will make the drop of three inches it will still have any, uh, enough room and enough air around it so it can stay cool uh, so this is the job for today uh, by doing it um, I will have because at the moment if you have seen uh, the video of how I made my pedals I know you can't hear uh, any sound from those spring right now but uh, as you see around but like you can see the shaft from the potentiometer is like more half a moon or the next video we will see the final adjustment and the drive test on the new all the hardware the electronic stuff is underneath 
the pedal board or the, the base. Uh, so but, uh, if I want to do it, if I want to rise the floor, I need to uh, remove the electronic under the plate and install it on top. So uh, my project today is to remove the, the complete set of pedal and uh, switching the hardware from underneath to over the top. And uh, I it, will, uh, it will give me about one inch and a half of spare room underneath the board. Uh, so I will be able to rise the floor uh, one inch and a half from the uh, under the pedal plus one inch and a half here so it will give me my three inches um, so I will start by removing my steering column and the wheelbase uh, can stay there I can remove the pedal without removing the wheelbase if I need to modify that section later I will remove the wheelbase but for now I don't need to do that I just need to remove the steering column and the pedal will get out from here. I will remove obviously the steering wheel so the pedal come this way. I will install them back and it will give me overall more room to manage uh, the size of this tunnel. I will make it a thinner. It will be a better look. So let's proceed with that. So the pedal are removed. They are on the counter and ready to work on. Uh, so let's start by removing the old setup, the old hardware from the uh, original Thrustmaster. I won't uh, throw it out since uh, I want to install it on top. Uh, so let's start it. connected to the PC uh, in the device and printer uh, section or folder uh, so uh, I turned the switch to PS3 since when you're connecting the Thrustmaster T300RS to the PC you need to switch it to PS3 and not let it to PS4 it will not recognize the wheelbase if you let it to PS4 so you need to switch it yeah, it's working because it was not reset, it was lost, so it's working. So let's put that on a neutral position, uh, right there, and let's see what it does when I move the pedal. I can use more, so if I go down a bit. Still too much travel, need to go down more. That's not enough. Wire. We want as much, uh, we want the travel of the potentiometer to obviously follow the full travel of the wheel, with, uh, of the pedal. We don't want to be uh, the pedal full and the throttle not being in full or the opposite, uh, the throttle reaching the full position before the pedal is at the, at the full position because we will lose accuracy in uh, our driving. I need to go high a bit. That will be uh, very close. When we close, we can uh, screw it there because we can adjust with the little arm. So I will mark the spot just pushing with the screw. So we have a mark. Um, let's put that back in neutral position. I will do the same with the oh, sorry with the brakes height. Take that little screw and put it in the and let's do the same thing here. We put 
that in a neutral position push the brake and it's too way too much let's go down still too much let's go down again Close this, closer I mean. It will be very low, but we want the full travel of the pedal. That's very close. So let's put this one there. We will push on the screw to mark the spot. So it is marked. So now let's pre-drill our hole. At the right spot. That's too short. No need to be very deep or uh, That will be enough. It's about three quarter of inch. This one will be tricky since I need to push on the throttle to. I'm not straight, but it will be uh, good enough anyway. Uh, um, at the moment, I'm driving or uh, I'm using. The original potential meter of the T300RS. Uh, I have some potential meter on the shipping right now, but I will drive with them until uh, the announcement of PS5 uh, will be released. At this time, I will switch from PS4 or from Sony to PC and uh, I will upgrade my potential meter. Uh, so uh, it will be connected directly into the PC instead of in the wheelbase uh, since I will probably switch for a Fanatec wheel and those this hardware the Trustmaster hardware uh, are not compatible with but the cable is not compatible with the uh, Fanatec wheelbase so uh, I will modify my because I love my pedal I won't uh, buy a new set I love them so I will connect them directly on the PC already but uh, the USB chipset uh, and I will install it on it later I will bypass it so I can still be run it on the Trustmaster in case I, I want to drive in both uh, console and PC so I will install it uh, later today I will show you that uh, but yes until I will switch, uh, I will fully switch on PC. I will uh, continue using those cheap potential meter from the Trustmaster. I shall make my thread first. I don't go with the drill to screw in there because the drill is a bit violent for those little screws. I don't want to, as I said before, I don't want to ruin the, the head, the Phillips head. So i rather go with a screwdriver. It's not super uh, slower than the drill, it's just being more careful. So the thread is done for this one. So let's screw it on. As you can see, it's very simple. The harder, the harder part while I was uh, building this pedal set was to design the pedal and uh, make it fit, make it fit to the board. Because connecting the the hardware is very simple. As you can see, we're great. I will adjust that uh, after we'll install this side. This switch screwdrivers and for this one I can't make the thread since my screw is stuck in the in the little arm here in the turn knuckle so I will just make the thread one time while I am actually screwing it in the pedal 
don't know if you can see, I hope you can see, but I'm not a lefty, so it's pretty hard to screw uh, this and let you see, but I'll try in a way. install so now let's connect it back to the PC and adjust it position which is good uh, as you you just saw in the screen it give a little hit or the, 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 the meter rise pretty fast uh, when it's the first time you uh, actioning them uh, when it's just connected is give it give it so don't don't freak out don't panic if you see that the next time you will pull push on it it will be smooth so we actually re at the right position it's completely off and I can't adjust that a bit here so it it start here so we have about a oh, one quarter of inch it's not too bad yeah it's enough uh, for the start I will leave it that way so if I go full now I'm full and I have the little spring so uh, this is perfect adjustment for the brake and for the throttle well, it start earlier which is good because the throttle is very sensitive when you're driving uh, the, uh, the thing you may, uh, need to be very careful is uh, when you release it slowly to make sure the uh, meter is completely uh, down or at zero because you obviously don't want to let go the throttle and still uh, having some power delivered to the engine when you release that throttle pedal you want the engine to have no throttle uh, at all so it's important when you release both pedal actually to make sure the meter is completely down in this case it's it is so uh, the throttle uh, is being activated here which is about the same as the brake uh, so let's see full throttle now here I'm a full throttle and I don't have enough uh, okay now I'm full throttle okay so it's the full course of the pedal so it's it's open there if I go at the top, now it's full and I got a little uh, a little uh, free space at the hand. So again, it's, it's activating air. And if I go at the full throttle, it's at full throttle air. So I have like one eighth of inch of spare. You want to verify uh, it uh, often, leave for the first, uh, said the first week you are driving in case uh, something get loose or anything and uh, you have lack of power or if you uh, feel like you have a lack of power, maybe uh, something got loose and your throttle not going uh, full when you push it full. So now everything feel good. I feel I still feel like I want it to activate a little earlier and be at a full position earlier because it's pretty uh, thin here and I don't want to 
uh, run in a lack of power because my adjustment is too uh, uh, close, you know, so I will tighten it a bit. Uh, I think I gone the wrong way. Let's see. Yeah, it was the wrong way. Still have to go a bit. Ah, uh, that's better. Activate about here. Which is good and um, full throttle air and I, I will go for a bit more it activate earlier now it activate air and I'm full throttle air I still have enough plate uh, behind so uh, now I know uh, I will have full throttle but uh, the important thing as I said before if when you release slowly you want it to be completely off and it is so I will tighten it right there and we will have a last look to make sure everything is good If I release it very slow, it turn off completely. And if I push slowly to the top, it's go full. So that's great. If I'm violent with it, it's perfect as well. And this one, yes, uh, they're both okay. So let's disconnect it from the PC and we will go install the USB chip set. I removed all the tape, I drilled the hole, the holes are drilled, I drilled the hole here, let me switch it upside down. This hole, uh, since I will have the connector for the PC underneath the, the front or the board, uh, I will uh, keep that cable that goes to the uh, Trustmaster wheelbase and I will uh, put it like that so the original connector will get through here so it will like more uh, professional let's say like that that being said it's time to screw our little thing here underneath that but I need to pre-drill them. Marking the first hole. We put that in the center. And pre-drill the other hole. So we're not true in any of those holes. Install. It's super solid. The only thing I haven't think is that I don't have connectors to go in there. So I found some old PC cable. I believe those pin will fit in the connector of the board. Uh, so I will remove them from the connector and I will try them. Uh, before going any further, let's see if it fits. It's very small to go and connect my big fingers. Oh, and it fit very tight, so it's perfect. As you can see. Maybe it's too close. Anyway, they fit, so... I don't have to wait for cables. This color in there will be wonderful if I can put there. Yeah, I have a brown, I have a blue, and a green. That's fantastic.
everything is welded on top I decide to pass the wires here and the link between those two potentiometer I will do it uh, under the board so it's cleaner like that I made a hole for a useless hole there but it's not a big deal okay so I need to join those and those together they are the link I will go under the spring so I won't break anything as you can see I got uh, the green is connected with the black so uh, it does uh, take office of negative the yellow is the control for the accelerator uh, so I make a Y uh, between uh, those cable here come from the uh, Thrustmaster uh, harness and it goes into the box the other set go at the throttle pedal the orange one uh, just because I ran out of red of red connectors uh, it they take it take office of uh, the positive side um, it does a loop go uh, at the uh, accelerator and at the brake pedal the other side I had the red doing the same thing, uh, a loop between the harness of the Thrustmaster going at the uh, accelerator and it does a loop and go back at the brake pedal as well. The blue is the controller of the accelerate, uh, the brake pedal, I'm sorry. So it goes on the brake side plus it's, the, it's a Y going to the uh, Thrustmaster harness and finally the black who do office of negative go uh, on the uh, accelerator side do a loop and go back and go with the green they all connected together and it's a, a loop as well a Y as well going into the Thrustmaster harness I finished connecting all the wires to that little uh, chipset or uh, USB controller unit. I glue, I glued the wire on the board so there's no moving, so uh, nothing will disconnect. Uh, we are ready for testing, uh, and as you can see, uh, as I said early, uh, earlier, I put the original harness of the Thrustmaster uh, on top, so this will uh, go here, uh, connect in the uh, wheelbase, and when I will switch to PC, I will connect under the board here directly into the PC, so there will not be any confusion. First, I will connect the original harness to the wheelbase, do the test, and after that, we will uh, I will connect the USB chipset to the PC and make the same test and see the accuracy and how it responding. Now we'll connect the wheelbase to the PC. Don't forget to switch the wheelbase button to PS3. It's already done. So let's start with the brake since it's the first one up. Good response. The adjustment haven't changed. It's working great. Let's see for the throttle. Good response as well. That could be a bit. Got a big dead zone at the end, but I will let it like that for now. If it causing any problem in practice, I will uh, adjust it. So I'm connecting that. In the board, it shows on the PC, that's a good sign. there so let's open the property of this controller it shows MPPC sim pedals uh, which stand for uh, maintenance uh, performance 
PC, which is the, the company that's making the chipset. So uh, at, in this page, uh, let's see if it works. Start with the break. Uh, why it's at the top? The reason is since uh, my brake is a potential meter and not connected to the load cell or the hydraulic pressure uh, connector, uh, I had to put that in the clutch slot. Reason why? Um, the Y is not, what there's nothing connected to it. So the brake is the X axis it's worked great so far and the throttle is the z axis which still uh, also work great but let's go in the calibration page So it says I'm at 100% in the axis, uh, the X uh, axis. Now at zero. Wow. It's 215% of space of travel. It's way more accurate. Can't wait to, uh, to try that on the track. If I can see any difference, let's see the other axis, the throttle. Uh, I said Y, there was nothing on Y, so should be nothing here. Yeah, Y is not connected, so there's nothing. Let's put that on Z. We should have the throttle on Z. And we have 100% travel on Z. So now the next step is to install this set of pedal back in the cockpit. While the pedal was removed, I took the opportunity and cut the angle in the body like I told you I was about to do. Uh, the lower part though I will do that only in spring because uh, I can't get the I won't cut it inside it will make too many too much dust and uh, I can't go outside uh, since it's winter so I will uh, modify the lower section only in spring in uh, like four months uh, the pedals uh, we tested they're good um, I installed them higher and as you can see i put my boots uh, I, I had to cut those notch here because my boots were rubbing on the frame and i can obviously not remove the frame because it's holding the the the, the thing together uh, so now my boot my boot i have a lot of clearance on both sides let's go like that and come pull I can't push the brake pedal only with one hand, too hard. But uh, as you can see, the throttle it's fine. I will have enough room in here and this side as well. This is what the tunnel will look like from inside. Uh, I need to attach the cable. It's loose. It won't be loose. Uh, so it's higher. You can see the clearance under the pedal. Uh, so I can. Uh, raise rise the the lower section from about two inches which uh, it will help a lot after the design or the look of the the thing so this is what it looked like at the moment this is it guys for now it's not done but the rough part is done. I will use a black yoga mat to make the seat so it's not too thick and it's softer than just bare wood. 
The fun part with adding just 2x4 instead of a full seat is you can adjust them separately. So you uh, adjust exactly the position you want or you like uh, without having to grinding, cutting or sanding a full seat if you do that from plywood or something. Uh, this is the best way I found to adjust it to uh, a comfortable position. So this is it guys. I will make a full video of how I build it soon and I will post that so you can have the instruction, the plan or the measurement, whatever you need to build one. Uh, it's not very expensive. I don't know if you remember my red one, the February one. I was smaller than that and it cost more than this one because that's basically only plywood and the frame is 2 2 by 6 of 8 feet. So uh, that's uh, cheaper than the, the red one I had because the red one has uh, steel rod, uh, threaded rod, a lot of nuts, washers, stuff like that. And this one's just wooden screws. So it's way cheaper, uh, even if it look more expensive. I will uh, make a video about that and I will share it to you. Uh, if we not see each other uh, before Christmas, I wish everybody Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And uh, see you later.